Hello everyone. It's Lisa here again. I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna try out my new mold from Molds and Shapes. Just got this one in last week and uh, haven't used it yet. And I'm gonna try something like what I saw Sherry do on Sherry's Life. She did um, some flowers using white and gold. So I don't have exactly the same products of hers. So I'm not quite sure how mine's gonna turn out, but wanna give it a go anyways. So I've got these little gold beads just from the dollar store. So I've got them in a container here. Just gonna add some resin to it. I want it quite thick so that's what it looks like and then I'm gonna mix up some white first and I'm gonna put in okay I'm back again so I was timing my resin 10 minutes just give it a little time to harden up a little bit. Oh, I should have told you, I'm using uh, resin by Art Resin. I'd love to try out the stone coat countertops, but can't seem to get that in Canada right now. I think I'm gonna go with 25 grams of resin, so that was a little much. Okay, that's 30. I'll go with 30. And I'll go 25. I'll do 30 of the white, 25 of the gold. Okay, so give my resin a little zap here. I'm just about out of butane. And I'm gonna pour the rest of my resin into my flower coasters. Gonna be close. Not gonna have enough for the cute little guy in the middle. But maybe if I have some of the piping left, I can put that in there. Starting to get a little bit dark outside. It's not dark yet, but I'm hoping that you can still see because I had the ring light on before and I didn't realize that it was in the picture the whole time. Sorry about that for whoever watched that video. But uh, I learned my lesson. So. Okay, now just gonna take my little, I got this thing on Wish, I love it though. Um, I just like to go around the outside to try to get any bubbles that might be forming in there. Okay. 
And with these 3D flowers, you can't really torch them, but I don't want to torch anyways because these are new molds and I want to take care of them. I want them to last for a long time. All right. So I'm just going to use my heat gun today. Okay. Just going to give it a quick zap on low. So I'm going to put two drops of the, actually three drops of the white pinata. So I snuck a fourth one in there. There we go. And I've got my casting craft and I didn't have very much patience for waiting for it to come out. So I actually took the lid out. So what I do now is I just stick a couple toothpicks in there. Just let it drop from the toothpicks. One, two, three, long three, four. I'll do one more. Five. Okay. Put the lid on there. Give it a stir. I feel like it's getting too dark. I might have to try and turn my my light on and maybe not put it right down. Okay, so there's the white. And now for the gold, I'm going to put in, come on, just a little bit. There we go. I'm going to put in two drops of the gold pinata. Oh, doesn't want to open. Oh, there. Getting it. All right. Two drops of this. And actually a third snuck in again. And this is my first time using this satin gold from Lorez. I just got it. So this will be fun to put a little of this in. I don't think I'm going to need very much. But look at it. Isn't it beautiful? Okay. Let's take a... I'm going to try just a little bit. See how that goes. still quite translucent so I'm going to add a little bit more. I don't add that much more. Still translucent, but I like it. Here's what it's looking like now. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to put my centers in. Oh, 
after I'm done this, I'm gonna go watch TV. Big Brother's on tonight. Don't know if you guys watch that show, but I quite like it. It's the Big Brother All Stars. It's the US version. I do live in Canada. We have a Canada Canadian version as well, but it's not on right now. So I'll be watching the US show. are kind of silly. I've used them once before. They're just the little round beads, but they do float around a little bit. But I've been using the glass lately and it just doesn't go flat enough and then I have to do another coat over top. So I'm going to try the beads tonight. And they do get a little bit of an air bubbles so just give them a quick zap there okay time to put my colors into the piping bags I don't know if you watch Sherry's life her videos on YouTube but she doesn't pipe she says she doesn't have very good luck with piping so she puts her colored resin into uh, bottles and just washes them out each time with rubbing alcohol. But uh, well, that's a co cool idea. All right. Let's wait to do my other one. And I hope this whole video gets on there. I am running low on battery on my phone. I do have it charged in, but doing videos takes up a lot of battery life, so hopefully we make it to the end. All right, it's about ready to go. couldn't be far because I have already used them tonight. Okay. Just taking a little tip off. coming out at all but I if you've done this before you know you got to be careful because <laughs> you can always make the hole bigger can't make it smaller okay oops there we go all right here we go This is where I get super quiet. <laughs> so 
I'm concentrate real hard. All right. Come on. See, my last couple I did a bit thicker, got a little bit braver. Almost forgot one. Not paying attention. It's all right. okay I'm gonna draw lines through them afterwards I'm not gonna worry about that well I forgot to put the white on that one how do I keep forgetting about this guy there we go
Now I do have some of extras, so I'm just gonna squeeze them in here, see what happens. Not putting any resin down first because I don't have any. I have more left of the white, so I kind of fill it up with the white, put the gold on on top. It might all sink down, I don't know. Anyways, I'm just playing now, but. Okay. All right, now to give it some heat, but not too much. I can see the gold is really starting to glisten. That's pretty cool. And it looks like the white is starting to bloom. I see the middle now. I'm losing my gold. Kind of thought that was going to happen, but. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to put a little tiny bit more in the center one. Oh problem. Okay. Some white. Clean that up. Yep. And a little tiny bit more gold. Oh, I almost forgot to do my lines. Shoot. Hope it's not too late now. I'm gonna do them now. All right. Here we go. Here we go. I did that one. Okay. Hope you guys are still watching. So I know it's kind of a long video. And I could use some more subscribers on YouTube. Hope this turned out as nice as Sherry's did. One more. There. I'm not going to touch the center one <laughs> because I'm afraid if I do, I'm going to lose all the gold. So I'm just going to leave it as is. And I will do the reveal tomorrow. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hi, everyone. I'm back for the reveal on my white and gold coasters. I have taken them out of the mold already. 
simply because I was having some difficulties getting them out of the mold. So I didn't want you to have to watch that. Um, <laughs> I'll show you the little one first. It's pretty obvious that it didn't do too much, but I didn't have any clear when I started. I just used whatever leftover resin I had. So that's kind of cool. And the flowers. So that is what the flower looks on the top side. I'll show you each one and the bottom. So I'm pretty happy with it. Obviously there's a few blobs that I wish weren't there, but I really like, I don't know if you can see it in the picture, but I really like the way the edges went on the white and the gold is really, it's a really nice kind of a shimmery gold and that's beautiful. So that's that one. Let's check out each one here. Here's this one and the other side. So not as many blobs on this one. So really pretty. I'm not really sure which side I like the most. Both sides are pretty, but I think this side I like the most on this, this one anyways. Okay, here's another one and flip. Pretty much the same as the other ones. And the last one's here. And flip. So, I think they're pretty. I don't know. I wish the blobs weren't there, but it does give it character. And um, it's not like blobby everywhere. And look at how delicate the little leaves are. That I really, really like. Anyway, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.